guys, what is up? It's Mel here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D movie that was released January 3rd, 2013. At the time of recording this video, this movie has a 19% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 4.8 out of 10 on IMDb. It is sometimes regarded as one of the worst horror movies to ever release. Now, I just recently watched it because it recently got added to HBO Max. So I figured, hey, I've never seen it. I've heard a lot of stuff about it, a lot of bad stuff. I figured I'd go ahead and try it and see what was going on and then maybe make a video about it. So as you guys can see on screen, this is the rubric that we will be grading this movie on. Since this is one of my first videos like this, I figured I'd go ahead and include the rubric and go over it with you guys in the intro of the video. The first thing we're going to be grading is the scariest kills. In this category, you can rank the kills based on how terrifying they are. You can consider factors such as the gore, the brutality, and the creativity of the kills. You can also analyze how effectively the kills were executed in the movie. The second category we're going to be grading is best jump scares. Here you can rank the jump scares based on how effective they were in startling the audience. You can consider the timing, the intensity, and the overall, overall impact of the jump scares. You can also compare how the jump scares in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D compared to those in other horror movies. Most Creative Monsters. In this category, you can rank the different monsters or villains in the movie based on their creativity and originality. You can analyze the design of the monsters, their abilities, and how they were used in the movie. You can also consider how memorable they are and how well they fit into the overall story. Best Performance. Here you can rank the actors based on their performances in the movie. You can analyze the quality of the acting, how well the actors portray their characters, and how believable they were. You can also consider how well the actors worked together and how they contributed to the overall success of the movie. Most Memorable Scene. In this category, you can rank the most memorable scene or sequence from the movie. You can consider the impact it had on the audience, the level of tension or fear it created, and how well it fit into the overall story. You can also compare it to other memorable scenes from other horror movies. So now that you guys have seen the rubric, I'm going to let you know what the grading scale is going to be. At the end of the video, I'm going to take all these things into consideration and I'm going to show everything I'm talking about. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give it a rating out of 5 chainsaws. And I will have that rating on screen for you guys to see. If you guys agree or disagree with my rating, you can let me know down below in the comments. I will respond to anybody and everybody. Now, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. The first thing we're going to be taking a look at is the scariest kills. Alrighty, as you guys can see on screen here, I have included all of the jump scares in the movie as well as the timestamps for when they happen. As you can see, there are 14 jump scares in total in this movie, with 3 being major jump scares and 11 being minor jump scares. Now these are not all kills, and they're not all really scary, they're just all the included jump scares in the film. The one that I have chosen though to be the scariest kill in the movie is at 31 minutes and 36 seconds when Daryl turns around and is attacked by Leatherface. It is by far one of the scariest moments of this movie in my opinion, and I loved it so much that I decided to make it the number one scariest kill in the entire movie, giving it a 3 chainsaw out of 5 chainsaw rating. I have also decided to include the clip in this video so that you guys can see what I'm talking about when I say it is the, probably the scariest moment in the entire movie in my opinion. That's debatable, there's a few other moments that kind of kind of stack up against it, but in my opinion this was the scariest moment in the whole film. Alright, now that you've seen what I consider to be the scariest jump scare moment in the movie, let's take a look at some of the scariest kills. Yeah, 
Come on out here. Look, I ain't waiting out here all day. I'll call in the station back with you won't. Send the boy out, Grayton. Sawyer's. Well, yeah. What's it gonna be? You do what you have to do, Sheriff. Send the boy out. <laughs> Give him the boy. He's simple anyway. He's family. We're gonna send out Jad. You did it now, boy. You let that bitch me get away. <laughs> this video guys I've decided to give Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D a four chainsaws out of five there's a lot of cringe in this movie a lot of cringy moments like when she throws the chainsaw to the face and says go get them cuz there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense like for example her age even though she was a baby in 1974 and she seems to be in her 20s in 2013 a lot of stuff doesn't make sense and of course it's not canon but really which Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies are the fact of the matter is, is that the kills are good, the characters are good, the betrayals are decent. So that's what led me to my four chainsaws out of five grade. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like rating, it is much appreciated. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more content like this in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video.